be doing a review on the Instapod. I just received this. I've been looking forward to this. Um, this device is capable of doing a lot of things and replacing a lot of equipment in our kitchen with one thing, saving space, the whole nine yards. So I'm very excited to have it. I'm going to be doing a lot of posts here, testing out all the different features and finding some really cool recipes along the way. And hope you guys join me. So what we've got here is we've got the Instant Pot brand. It's the Duo 60 6 quart 7 in 1 multi use. So it's a programmable pressure cooker, which is pretty cool. A lot of people have usually been scared of pressure cookers because the whole idea of removing the top and everything like that. Um, so I haven't used this before, so it'll be interesting to see how that works. I'm sure they've made a lot of cool upgrades through the years. Um, it's also a slow cooker, a rice cooker, a steamer, saute, which is cool, and a yogurt maker, <clears throat> and a warmer. So once you're done cooking, or if you've braised something in here, or you've used a pressure cooker, and you want to release the steam and let it stay warm, it's a, a warmer too, so that's pretty cool. You know, often getting the stuff to stay warm when you're having a party and things like that, it's a little bit of a challenge. Let's go ahead and pop in here, start seeing what we got. safety mechanisms which is cool because that's been really one of the things that has been really a challenge with pressure cooking is people being scared to use a pressure cooker so these guys have thought of it that's cool all right let's move on let's get inside so let's see what do we got Material. Not the most important thing right now, but still pretty interesting to see what we got. Got a couple of pamphlets that'll tell us probably a couple of dishes to get started and at least how to use our product, which is helpful. And let's see. There, power cable. And we've got an Instapod. Very cool. Let's move in for a little bit of a close up here. Let's see, how do we open this thing up? So we've got in the front an open and close option here. So let's go ahead and go with open. So it opens nice and easy. That's good. So let's see what do we got. So let's take a look at the lid here. Gaunt is a really nice lid. Feels really nice at least. Got a really nice seal running right through here. The one thing that really sticks out for me is the quality of the manufacturing here. This feels like quality to me. You can get a better view right here. You all can see that well. And that's the, uh, the 
pressure relief valve, which on the top looks just like that. So there's a way to, I guess you just turn it and press it down, comes up. It'll be interesting to see how that works. It's pretty pliable. So it has a, it says right here, it says sealing, and below it it says venting. So you got one position versus the other. So that's good, very easy to know. All right, let's see what else we got here. measuring cups. Um, those are different looking. So that's just your regular measuring cup. Nice and precise. And this is interesting. Don't know what this is yet, but we'll soon find out. I'm guessing it's either for some kind of seasoning or water. The little thing in the middle, the divider, I guess that's got me a little confused. So that's kind of cool, not knowing. Let's see what else we got. Here, this is for, I'm gonna guess probably, I don't know, I don't really want to say eggs, but it's gotta be a matter of something's in there that's been cooking, and this is the way to raise it back out. Um, I know that there are inserts for this for egg cookery, so it would look very similar, but it has a bunch of little spots where you put your eggs. And um, I do have a sales website, and I, I do sell that stuff in there, so in the description below, I will provide a link for the egg cookery and whatever other good accessories we've got there. Um, but the egg cookery part of this does seem pretty cool, especially if you want to cook a lot of eggs, like for devil's eggs, and you're making a party or having a party. I think for me, the egg cooking thing can be a pretty big deal. So let's see. So this is very nice, very sturdy. It's screaming high quality to me. It doesn't feel like light. I mean, this is thick. So it's going to be good for pressure cooking and braising meats. Tells you where to max flow. I guess it depends on the cooking method that you're using. Cool. And this is the six quart, so it's, you know, that's one and a half gallons. That's a good size pot. I couldn't imagine really needing much bigger for a normal family. Let's see, here's a warning sign. Make sure the heating element is free from grease and debris. Do not leave food on the heating element. Only use the genuine Instant Pot inner pots for cooking. So let's take a look at the inside. So one Instant Pot coming right up. So we've got a really nice interface that we'll be covering extensively through the next number of videos. We'll test every single cooking method, which will be fun. And in the inside. I guess that bottom thing is the heating element and there's a ridge that goes around it. So when you put your finger, I can actually put my finger underneath the base plate in there, see that circle part? So that's some different kind of stuff going on the bottom. I guess it's a large just heating element like that piece of paper implied. So this is the thing that you don't ever want to have touch anything besides the bowl. So that keeps it nice and easy. So if we were going to cook, we'd be like, simply boom, 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 our goodies are in the pan. Let's put our lid on, which the lid connects, I don't know, let's see. I'm thinking maybe that was right. Oh, 
Mine goes on super easy. There, I'll give you guys a better view. And then it moves. Okay, I'll give you a nice view here. So with the lid right here, this is what we're going to pay attention to. So this is just placed on. So if we look at this, we want those to match up. So starting out here in the back area, you guys can see this well. Essentially we place it on this side where that's not connected and then it just goes boop and then you're in position, which is nice and easy. Probably get a nicer view of the front right here. So this is something I think I'll see myself using a good bit of. It's keep warm. I like that. Um, some pressure cookers, it's a matter of how much heat you put underneath the pressure cooker. So having pressure level really is going to let us really dial in your style of cooking or how the doneness you want, which I'm excited about. Um, I love the idea of a slow cooker. I mean, how great of braised short ribs could this thing do? Um, or let's think about pressure cook. You know what? I've got a piece of brisket that I was thinking about doing a Texas style where I could do one in the pressure cooker and one in the slow cooker. We'll see how it turns out. So I think that's the first thing I'll do for you guys. We'll do meat or we'll test the pressure in the slow cooker because that's kind of the cool -er part of this you know, device or at least the big selling point. So I'm a fan. I'm excited.